Stats pulling his hair out right now. Oh no! Oh, and he's gonna do offensive hatchery. Oh, oh that oh. makes okay, this Okay, so this could be like he's one in a thousand games. Yeah. Oh, well, it will be one in a thousand, but I think the hatch was just canceled. Now, I think Rogue thinks this is a fake. Yeah, now he scouts the forge, so it might be time to come down. Look at him not react. Yeah. You're just like, nah, bro, it's fine, dude. Now, that means he has another uh, alternative response to this. By the way, he uh, does see that coming in there. Hatchery. He needs to get that down now, or he won't be able to make it. Okay, so hold on. Like, so what does Rogue know that we don't? Because Rogue is completely, like, not reacting to this. Well, he... SOS is his teammate, right? So I'm sure he knows a hell of a lot about cannon rushes. Yeah. But this looks like this is the least effort put into a cannon rush in the history of Earth. Yeah. It's and well, the least effort it... to stop it in the history yeah. of Earth. Like, I don't even, like, either this is completely next level or parting and, and print F right now are getting migraines watching it. Like, So the hatch goes down at the third. Uh, I think the general is you can't just cannon rush every hatch. It, you know, there's, there's diminishing returns. Yeah. The Zerg yeah. loses less money just canceling and moving, and you're yeah. actually investing. Okay, I, I don't know, guys. I'll shut up. Well, once there gets to be cannons at every expansion, then you can't expand anymore. You're going to have it. to muzzle me in this cast, Artosis. There's nothing I'm saying of value here. This is such a strange game. So he's going to cannon rush the hatchery in his main. He put makes it, uh, yeah, like, is this where they both mask off Mission Impossible style and it's two SOSs in the game? We're like, oh. I feel like it's a couple broken robots. Like, I, I'm not sure yeah, what. Yeah, these seem like bad AIs. The thing is, I, I guess that Rogue is fine. So here's, well, here's my kind of take I on it, like right? I feel like he has to be fine or he wouldn't be doing this. Well, because of the shape of the main, your creep goes to the edge, so they can't really get cannons on high ground against you. So I guess he's like, okay, well, I'll just play this completely normal from here. Okay. All right, the Adept gonna chase down these Lings. The hatch is denied. There are Lings being made here. Uh, are there cannons actually next to the Nexus? I don't think there's even a pile on there, but I'm, I'm surprised not... he didn't pull probes to make sure that that hatch didn't get up. <laughs> That's what I was wondering as well, is why wouldn't you just absolutely confirm that this doesn't finish, because then you win the game. Yeah, well, well, I, I, I'm not sure, Tasteless. Okay, so the queen's alive. That's hilarious, too. Now, that's going to be the only queen in the main, but I think you could swarm that. What this am I seeing? You're seeing one of the stranger games. So nothing else can be made. The larvae are shot down. The queen dies. The fact that he has a creep term in the main is so hilarious as well. Is there any follow-up with the creep being available there? No, I don't think so. But maybe oh my he God. just dies now to Lings? I don't know. Like, he just has to make more cannons in his main. The Adept is here, so he sees that there's no Roach Horn or anything. So this will be a record number of question marks in a cast by us ever. I what don't... a bizarre game this has been. I think Rogue's I complete non-reaction Maybe but, confuse this a little I, bit but here. But I think the probes just kill the lings. There's enough probes. It's not like he's short on probes for one base. He's actually, yeah, that's true. That's true. He's fine. That's a good point. But all his stuff is oh, like powered everywhere. Rogue actually does have a base up. Finally. Um, Look at this. He's got to make a gate. He can't even. I almost feel like I would bring probes down to fight those lings and try to get a pile up. I, I would not want to lose those buildings. But look, now more lings come in, so that would have been bad. Oh my god. So, we're gonna have to have some kind of tech here. I agree with the uh, idea of the Oracle, but I don't think he can get that up. Because there's still Ling streamlining here. Basically, the, uh, the, the the natural expansion for Protoss is a, is a ghost town. There's not, there's cannon tech available here, but there's not any way to get uh, he doesn't have any cannons actually over the Nexus, so he can't actually protect himself. So the Lings, I actually think Rogue wins this. Yeah, totally. Um, 
Zess is in a terrible spot here. GG. Okay. Huh. Keeping it weird. Yeah. This is, I think, what Rogue was planning on doing against Zest in one of those games. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that part where there was a hatchery made outside the base and then... Yeah. Okay. So let's see what this is exactly. Yeah. So kind of interesting to be seeing something similar here, but it definitely looks like a spine push. More drones coming up right now. now let's take a little walk down history lane, Artosis. Yes. Down memory row. Remember when Nesty did this? Yes. A long time ago, and we lost awesome. our shit. It was we against Hongan, wasn't it? I think. Was it? I thought it was against. Uh, oh, any, any uh, pro, any pro. Was it any pro? I, I actually believe it was I thought any it was uh, the same guy that blocked his own nexus with a pylon, but then turned out to be pretty Son? good. Son. I thought it was against Son, but maybe oh. I'm wrong. I don't know. Anyways, memories are one of those three, I think. But it was crazy. Yeah, single thing walks in here. Uh, three spines on the way. He does make the robo. Makes a forge as well. That's an interesting forge. Yeah, the forge. I think, is he just going to give up the natural? No? I, I don't know where this goes. Now, keep in mind, most of the way that Protoss survive early game is by having some kind of wallet. This is a general yes. theme in the game, is one race has to have some kind of wallet against the other, but oftentimes they both have to have proper wallets. And, you know, when you don't have the structures to, to hide behind and to defend from, the damage is too great. And uh, in truth, the most significant tech building in the game is right at the front of your entrance. It's a cybernetic score. Oh, oh he you just can't. gets it out. He just gets it out. Okay, he's got to just heal the cyber core, Can, he, can he get the uh, warp gate? Nah, I guess it's not enough time. Oh, he's not oh, going to get gonna get the thing. pylon. He's yeah. not going to get it. Oh, he's going to get it. Oh, he's not going to get it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, he's going to get it. He gets he it. He gets oh, it. Oh, man. Stats by the skin of his teeth. Getting his warp gate done. Getting the stalker and done. His teeth don't even have skin. Well, that's how close it was. Yes, yeah. Okay, he's got cannons on high ground. He's going to have an immortal. Yeah, he, I mean, he's going to hold this for sure. Damn, man. Stats looking hot today. Oh my god, but this surround is actually pretty big. The shield battery. Where's our cannot, overcharge? Yeah, the shield battery cannot quite help. Oh my god. The, okay, so more links can still be made here, and they will be made. Oh, he's Again. walking out too far with that. He needs to get back to the building. You cannot let that get surrounded somewhere. The shield battery is out. Yeah, once he gets an overcharge, though, that's... I mean, I don't think you're actually going to finish breaking him. I think you need to expand this road. Well, I think Rogue well, he's too low, him. maybe. He's making two drones. Let's see if he goes back in the links. Now, right. even though the, you know, there's enough spines here that they can actually just uh, hammer down this cannon, I think. No, I guess not. I guess the Immortals, two of them present. Yeah, pushes he's gonna it back. push it back into a concave outside the ramp. And now it looks like he's going to expand. Uh, I don't think this is terrible for Protoss, no, by I the way. No, I think he's completely fine. I think he makes a warp prism and wins the game. Yeah, right? that's like, I mean, it's already hard enough oh. to stop the mortals in a warp prism. You see Rogue's control was so good there. <laughs> yeah. Uprooting that spine, it's sending quick. it back. OK, he's got to be careful. You know, the hull damage. As beefy as Immortals are, it really is. You know, in the games like this where you basically, if Protoss becomes a Warcraft 3 player with two heroes. Yeah, yeah. That's what the two Immortals are. I'd love to see a Blade Master try to kill these. Uh, yeah, right. Never going to happen. I like that. Rogue is focusing on making sure that those uh, shields get knocked down. If you can get rid of hard end shield, then the Immortals really can't commit so well. They take all damage. Like Look at the balancing about. act here from Rogue, too. Mm. The hatchery coming down. Now, He's making a lot of spines, a lot of links. Uh, another thing to, to, to point out here is that if these Immortals do get picked up in a War Prism, which they will eventually here, uh, and sent across the map, there is an option to counterattack as well. Yes. So, th And that's probably what Zerg is, is trying to hang on to, is trying to get just enough workers out. Yeah, I, I think what happens, right, is when these, if these go across the map, he moves all the spines up. So maybe, look at this, he fills up two adepts into that and he's getting oh, funny. So he's actually going to attack oh, with dude, adepts. Dude. Oh, he's got to be careful at that. 
Uh, he's going to attack with the depths and keep the Immortals at home, because the Immortals at home will stop him from dying. He cannot die, basically, because yeah. his spines will die before they even can burrow. So even though Protoss should be fine, Protoss is also in a situation where he can't really get out. Oh my god, these are going to get in the red here. We got one Tomato Immortal. They were Lemon Immortals not long ago. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely taking a lot of hull damage, but he's keeping the pressure on with them, which is important. Yeah, and also if uh, Protoss breaks his position, they do get a base up here. Oh, oh that force good field. force field. That was really, really nice. Okay, so he is just going to break through everything. Isn't well, hold on. A lot of links are going to come in here. Oh, my God. Incredible control here. Just beautiful. He goes back. More spines are coming. Again, these, these immortals are so freaking low. Good micro from Rogue, though, over and over. Now, the War Prism is still basically full of shields, but you can see the Queens want to try to get that low enough that they... Because, they, you know, the War Prism is what makes the Immortal strong, and they just get picked up, and it's instantaneous, and same with the dropping. So the Zerg is basically eating damage over time. Oh, my God, this is so close. It's got to keep those Immortals alive still. Very important. Guardian Shield coming down here. More and more Lings being made. Another Spine comes into the fray. Oh my god. I and just stats his units will do it. not die. Oh, literally. Just barely gets would have been a fatal shot there, but picks it up as the uh, spine is reaching across the map. Yeah. Oh my god, these two immortals. He did it. The damage, the value. Now, Protoss does not have a second base, but Protoss has. Uh, the infrastructure to probably push across here. Look, if you can't stop that with your whole army and six spines, you're not going to stop it with a second army. Now, keep in mind, there's only one warp prism here. There's a lot of links being made. Mm -hmm. If he can force a pickup and get some of these other units on the ground, that yeah. may be the saving grace here. And you know what? He has 34 supply, and that's, that's Zerglings. Look at this, 49 Zerglings, 50 plus Zerglings. That is a lot of Zerglings. Doesn't want to show them yet either. Now, again, the War Prism can only hold two units. If the surface Ooh, area he's got to surround up. that. I think that actually could Where's... have been a good time to try to surround. Well, okay, here he goes. Now's that moment. That's a huge surround right there. Look at that. Now, keep in mind, the Queens are still hitting the War Prism. Uh, the Adepts are, for the most part, going to be picked off. Mm -hmm. But okay, they're inside get the main. Through. This yeah. is such a scrap feed. Oh! Game. I cannot believe that Red Immortal is still alive. Madness. Now again, Queen's on creep here. Oh! oh! Finally what loses one. Out. So red, that Immortal, too. Another warping down here. Okay, the main is almost mined out. In fact... This he is needs to game. he needs to stop making units to make a Nexus Artosis. And Protoss actually outlasts this. By the way, this is a great game. It Just is. Take a moment. Crazy. This is a really really good game of Starcraft too. Okay, he's got long a long distance, distance mine. mine. Artosis, we're finish each other's sentences. Uh, well, there's same. only one thing to say on the screen. <laughs> okay, the shade. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I okay. like this idea. Old school strat. Get some kills here. Oh, look how many lings are at the bottom of the ramp. He's got a force There's field. There's three sentries. Okay, he has one more, one force, more force field. field. So he's going to kill, kill this the hatch. Or the, the hatchery, excuse me. Oh, more and more force fields now. What? I actually really want to see, see him focus on killing this hatch. Yeah, no, he needs to get kill the, the pool, too. Kill everything that's up here. Let your opponent have as many lings as he wants on the low ground. It's all you, Hatch my dude. Down. Uh, that's oh. actually not enough. Oh, he's got uh, some other lings over there in the main. I like that. To let a certain amount of them up? Because yeah, he's yeah. whittling it down now. I think it was very intentional. Yeah. Look at this. Trapping you. Whoa, more. that's how many are in there? That was a lot. I think stats wins. Yeah, I think so. I don't don't forget, he doesn't have a natural, and he's actually under attack over there by something. Okay, so we can't mine there. So he has exactly uh, six... Well, he had uh, 600 minerals. Now it's he's working it a little bit more. He still has enough minerals that he can actually make a nexus. Important to note. What a game. Yeah. Coming down I the ramp now, though. I think this is going to be fatal damage here. I think Rogue uh, committed too heavily on the ramp. He just he got whittled down a lot. 
great play here by Stats. Really one of the best games we've had all year, honestly. What a Amazing special game. game. What a really special game. Stats.